Now, one more interesting topic. Magnetic property. What is this magnetic property? Magnet. You know, if you just spill off some of magnets, some of iron pieces, just if, if you take one magnet and if you keep on searching the iron pieces, you can get it. Why? How? Because there is an attraction between metals and the magnetic substances. Here, what is this magnetic property? In solids, we are going to study how they will act. For example, here, what substance is this? I don't know. What type of substance? I don't know. I will call it as X, else A, B, C, anything. This one substance is there. Substance name? X. Now, what is this? This is bar magnet, north pole, south pole, or south pole, north pole, whatever. Magnets. If I place any substances, I don't know, I don't know anything. I don't know the behavior. I don't know anything. But it's a substance. It's a solid. I will keep this solid in between the magnets. In between the magnets, what happened? Magnetic field is there. Between the magnet, magnetic field. See? I'm going to create or generate magnetic field. How? By using the magnets, bar magnets. In this magnetic field, if I place any substances X, if it start fluctuating, if I say any movement, or else attraction, such type of property, we call it as magnetic property. Is it clear? If I keep any substances in the magnetic field, if it responds, if it attracts, if it ripples, there is no attraction, there is no repulsions. Then it's not magnetic substances. Attraction or repulsion the magnet of the career Magnetic substance, magnetic behavior, property and brother. Suppose if it attract fully attract a big rules in law, there is no ripple, fully ripple up big illa. If there is attraction, there is a repulsion. Whatever, little attraction or probably repulsion or such type of property we call it a magnetic property. Here, solids also, some of the solids, not all the solids, they will exhibit this type of metallic property. Here, based on that, we are going to classify, once again, five types. First one, diamagnetic substances. What is this diamagnetic substances? Diamagnetic substances means what? Dia plus magnetic, diamagnetic. See, this substance exists there, no? There is no attraction. There is no attraction at all. Or else, once again, in chemistry, if the substances contain paid electron, what is this paid electron? Paid and reno. Paid. Two. Paid and reno. The substances mainly contain paired electron. You know electron. Two types of spins are there. One is positive. Positive means upward spin. Half. Plus half in the curriculum. And second one, downward spin. 
we call it as minus half. Plus of minus of, another it will cancel each other. Zero. If I place such type of substance in this magnetic field, there is no response. Such type of substance we call it as diamagnetic substances. Is it clear? Diamagnetic substances means it, the substances it mainly contain paid electron. For example, this is just assume it's a tug of war. Tug of war. This is zero. Zero means what? Center. Here, three members. One, two, three. Here also three members. One, two, three. Here also three members. Here also three members. Equal. But they are standing opposite. See? Some are standing. They are pulling. Pulling the rope this side. How do you Agana e kade elitada. These three persons, they are pulling the rope this side. Equal and opposite strength, what happened? Cancel off. Plus of, minus of, cancel. If any substances, it mainly contain paid electron. Paid electron. Such type of substances we call it as diamagnetic substances. What are all the examples? Example. What are all the examples? LACL. LACL means sodium chloride. And H2. H2O is very famous. Water. These are all the so many examples are there. Just I am giving one or two. LACL, H2. These are all examples for Diamagnetic substances. Keep it one thing in your mind. Diamagnetic substances means the substances mainly contain paid electron. You should use this word only. In examination they will ask this paid electron. And what about the next type? Second one is paramagnetic substances. Second one is paramagnetic substances. Here what is this? This is paid. Here paid is there is here it should be unpaid. Unpaid means see only one side aroma there is no downside. It mainly contain unpaid electron and they are weakly attracted by magnetic. It mainly contains unpaid electron plus they are weakly attracted by magnetic field. They are weakly attracted by magnetic field. Such type of substances we call it as paramagnetic. Unpaid means there is no downward arrow mark. Here this is plus half. Plus half means plus half only. Here one more minus of is there to cancel this? No. Here once again plus half. Half plus half. What happened? One. Is it clear? But here half plus minus half. Plus half minus half. Cancel. Zero. But here there is no cancellation. So, they will show the affinity or attraction towards the external magnetic field. If I place such type of substances in between the magnet, it starts fluctuating, it starts moving, it starts attracting. So, this is example for, this is paramagnetic substances. What are the examples? You all know this. Cu2 plus copper. Cupric, cuprus, you know, plus one, plus two states are there. And 
प्लस थ्री आई रन प्लस थ्री फॉर रिक दिस आर ऑल एग्जांपल फॉर पारामैग्नेटिक सब्सटेंसेस इस इट क्लियर नाउ डायमैग्नेटिक डायमैग्नेटिक मेंस पेड इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड नो अट्रैक्शन पारामैग्नेटिक मेंस अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन वीक अट्रैक्शन Weak attraction is there means one more strong attraction should be yes that is third one name ferromagnetic substances Iron. 
Here also, iron. No difference? Yes, there is a lot of difference. This one is iron is in plus 3 state. But the, here, iron is in 0 state. 0 state means it is not oxidized. It is not in ferric state. Iron, copper. You know, generally we will call it as, especially rainy season. Gotidala, terrasali main agi. Electricity short circuit type to iron rod and all touch agi. Why? Because there are ferromagnetic substances. Once all the domains are arranged, it remains as it is. It never ever changed. Is it clear? That's why they are strongly attracted by electric field. Oh, sorry, magnetic field. Now, fourth one. What is this? This is fellow. Fourth one, opposite. Corruption, anti-corruption. Fellow, Magnetic substances. What is this word? Here, same thing. This is also ferromagnetic substances. This is also ferromagnetic substances. Only one word extra that is anti. What is this anti? Anti means opposite. Here, I use the word domains. Correct, no? Domains means unpaid electron. One. And it means what? Opposite. One domain is one direction means another domain should be opposite. And next domain should be opposite. Next domain, opposite. What you observe here, here four domains are there means two domains Upside and two domains downside. Means what happened? Equal and opposite. Then magnetic property cancel out. It shows, it shows the magnetic property. But still, for example, sea water, lot of salts are there. But we are not using directly. So when salts are there, in sea means, but we are not using. Why? Here yeah, also same thing. One upside, one downside. Yes, it's an example for magnetic substances. But still, we will observe like this only. Why? Equal and opposite. Domains are equal and opposite. So it never ever exhibit the magnetic property. What are all the examples for this? M N O. What is this M N O? Manganese oxide. This is ferromagnetic substance. Anti-ferromagnetic substances. And last but not the least, this is ferro. This one is ferri. What is the difference between this? Ferromagnetic, anti-ferromagnetic, ferrimagnetic. Ferrimagnetic means the domains are arranged like this. See, some are upside, some are downside. Some are upside, some are downside. Here, regular interval. One upside means one should be downside. One upside means one should be downside. But here, one upside means second one also it may be upside. But next one it may be downside. A fourth one it may be downside or, or it may be upside. We don't know. Ferry magnetic means here the domains are irregularly arranged. It's not regular. It's not proper. Here what happened? Magnetic property will cancel off? No. Here one is upside means this upside will cancel by this. But what about this? This will show the magnetic property. Such type of substances we call it as ferrimagnetic substances. Example. 
Fe3O4 ferricum ferrous gas. Simple. Very simple. And this four are the, this five major important one. In examination, they will ask anyone. And last bit of the topic, especially in this magnetic property, Curie temperature. What is this Curie temperature? Curie temperature means, yes, uh, in name only temperature is. Temperature means it's the temperature. At particular temperature, this ferromagnetic and ferrimagnetic substances lost its magnetic property. I will explain it. At particular temperature, particular temperature ferro and ferric not antiferro para diamagnetic yaudu varalla ferromagnetic and ferrimagnetic ferromagnetic and ferrimagnetic substances Magnetic property. In it means a temperature reach at the layer of the magnetic behavior at all. That is Curie temperature. The particular temperature, particular temperature is, for example, 100 do Curie temperature on the head of the up to 99 degrees Celsius, it will show the magnetic property. But once it cross the 100, for example, 101, it never show the magnetic property. Understood? Which one is? First one is ferromagnetic and second one, ferrimagnetic. Ferromagnetic, what is uh, example I gave? That is Fe, iron. Iron at 1000 33 Kelvin. Iron at 1033 Kelvin. Above this temperature, up to here, it will show the magnetic property. That to what type of magnetic property? Ferromagnetic property. But once it crosses the 1300, sorry, 1033 Kelvin, it will lose its magnetic property. Then, what example I gave for this ferrimagnetic substance? That is Fe3O4. Fe3O4 at 850 Kelvin. Above this temperature, this act as a, this never act as a magnet. It never shows the magnetic property. Very, very important for one mark and for CD purpose. Is it clear now? Now, you don't have any documents. I am going to summarize this.
very magnetic. See, try to understand properly. Diamagnetic means it never ever shows the magnetic property. Why? Failure. Paramagnetic, it will show the magnetic property but intensity less, weakly attracted. Why? Unpaid electron. I am not using the word domain here. Unpaid electron. But ferromagnetic, strongly attracted. Why? Because domains are regularly arranged. When? Madhligya regular agar encha gira tella. Random agar encha gira tella. Once if I remove the magnetic field, regularly arranged. It remains as it is. Intact. Here, anti-ferromagnetic. Anti-ferromagnetic means one domain upside equal. One upside, one downside. Next, one upside, one downside. Next, last one. Some are up, some are down. But, the domain's arrangement are not proper. That's why it will show the magnetic point. And last one, Curie temperature. Is it clear? This is regarding the magnetic property and the electrical conductivity. After this, the last one, applications. Semiconductors. We did now semiconductors. Here, first one, you know, transistors. Here are physics students, you know this. Transistor, here especially we are using this semiconductors. Applications of Semiconductors means electrical instruments, equipment we are using this, especially in transistor. The two, two types. One, NPN type of transistor and second one, PNP. What is this NPN? I explained already N type, P type, everything I explained. N type means this one N type. Next I am going to merge with P type. Next I am going to merge with N type. It look like sandwich. Sandwich go together. Your bread dough. Even sandwich. See. Just assume. It is just like bread. This is jar. In middle. In between the two N. P will jump. It's like a sandwich. Pizza, you know that. Means between the two things, one is sandwich. Sandwich means it's present in between the two same things. These two are same things, N type. In between the P is there. NPM. Then this one also same thing. P, P side. In middle, N. Understood? And Second important one, solar cells. This one mainly we will use in solar cells. And last one, diodes. Diodes, you know, in TVs, so many things. Uh, uh, we will use this diodes. These are all the these three are the major applications of, uh, especially. Extrinsic semiconductor, NPN, N type, P type semiconductors. These are all very, very important. Understood? Now, one more very, very interesting topic. You know, already. This solid state, you know, the solid's general characteristic property. General characteristics of solids. 
we already discussed the same thing in class also but once again see solid samdarsana first major thing nam thalai baradena it's too hard strong why the particles are compactly arranged correct na why it is too strong if one person saying play without support he stands like this we can easily push them but he is holding something support with the support two persons are holding together he hold one more nil it is easy to it is easy to pull or is push or it's not possible why because here atom number one it's combined with atom number two atom number two is combined with three three with four means all the atoms are joined together they are very compact they are tightly packed this is first general characteristics of salt and second one you know you will take the iron rod means we can cut it to two equal halves for example this is one piece of chalk means i can cut into two pieces cut na same thing i will draw we can cut it to two equal half but take one charcoal charcoal gotta na charcoal it is possible to cut we can it will make it as powder correct na so we can cut into two halves we can cut it to two halves and we can make it as wires you know copper wires is it there aluminum wires and we can make it as sheets malleability ductility means we can draw any metal into wires also sheets also gold biscuits sheets the same gold we can make it as wires same iron also iron sheets we will get iron wires yes we will get here also same thing we can make it as wire also sheet also means malleability ductility the property is we call it as malleability and ductility and here from one atom to another atom distance is too big na no? one atom is here means one more atom there here is like that no here the inter atom or inter nuclear distances are very small strong forces held together two more strong forces are held together these are all the general characteristic features of solids means they are compactly arranged inter nuclear distances are very small strong force held together we can cut into two equal halves and we can make it as wires or sheets malleability ductility is it clear now especially crystals we are going to classify as seven types before going to that you should know some of the very very important terminologies what are the terminologies crystal lattice unit cell see this is one big wall for the no this is one wall you wall only the smallest primitive unit a yavan karte wall and same wall as it is it means it man no we are keeping small small bricks see like this this is one small brick one small brick is connected to another brick another brick is connected to one more brick like this so many bricks we are keep on repeating then what happen it become big wall here also 
same thing unit cell unit cell means the smallest one small brick is there no? within the crystal when crystal is there means the smallest unit repeating unit we call it as unit cell the simplest repeating unit we call it as unit cell then what is this crystal lattice crystal crystal means you know for everything there is a perfect geometry solids ellarukku geometry irutte for example water we will photo some other for example bottle you have to it will take the bottle shape if we keep in glass it will take the glass shape tumbler tumbler shape bucket bucket shape why the atoms are not they don't have definite shape but here for every solid there is a particular precise shape is there why because the atoms are fixed at a particular point here also the same thing see just i am going to consider cube why i am going to consider cube only because we can easily understand this if i consider some other different thing it's little bit it will create lot of confusions but cube this one we all know in day to day life we will see this see this corner one atom will attached fixed means it remains as it is it never ever changes position here one atom is there means it's fixed there is a rules you will go to hotel means you will go and sit in kitchen hotel alo putu kitchen alo putu uta martira no there's a particular uh, place chairs there are dining tables there are here also same thing for atoms also there is a rules positions they will fix at the particular point only here also one here also one means the atoms crystal lattice lattice point a small point it's going to represents the presence of atom crystal lattice within the crystal where we are going to represent the atom that is crystal lattice is it clear means we are i'm just representing like this inge irutta point point tara ella cubes tara haki and we just areas here if you take this small areas here crystal we will get thousands of like this thousands sigutha but everything you will isolate like this prathi one ning tagad bit tagad bit nortira is like this no this is imaginary concept you should imagine here also same thing crystal lattice means means the arrangement what way the atoms are arranging the arrangement we call it as crystal lattice the representations within the crystal how the atoms are arranged how the particles are arranged how the molecules are arranged it need not be atom it need not be ion it need not be molecules it may be ion it may be atom it may be molecule there is no rules ad atom ne agirbeku ion ne agirbeku molecule ne agirbeku ani yavde rules illa yavd bekadru agirbeku if i consider ionic solid ad ion agirbeku if i consider molecular solid it means molecule it i if i consider only element it is atom what i will consider adu adage for example if you take masala dosa you will get what are all the ingredients you will get you will take onion dosa what are all the things um, onion dosa means onion is the major thing onion dosa we can't say it's masala dosa here also same thing is it clear now now based on this based on this we are going to explain the coordinate axis you know three coordinate axis are there x y z means you know all the three are mutually perpendicular whatever it may be these two are mutually perpendicular these two are mutually perpendicular these two are mutually mutually perpendicular 90 degree you can keep it as y it's your wish for my wish i will use as x now the angle between these two i will call it as alpha beta gamma i can easily draw Within the 
ड्रॉ ये नहीं थी ना पता नहीं क्यों एक एंड ड्रॉ ये नहीं थी दिस कोऑर्डिनेट एक्सिस मेनली इट इज मेनली हेल्पफुल टू असाइन द पोजीशन ऑफ द एटम दैट्स इट इफ आई एम स्टैंड हियर दिस बेंच इज वेरी नियर टू मी इफ आई एम स्टैंडिंग हियर द लास्ट बेंच इज वेरी फार दिस इज जस्ट असाइनिंग द प्लेस from here to here distance is like this from here to here distance is like this it's just assign the position of the atom that's it now now total seven types of crystal lattice are there who gave this lattice bells lattice bells is the person especially he gave the seven types of crystal throughout the world wherever you will go whatever you will get the solid it should belongs to within the seven types nim kelli yavde solid sikkara seven type olagade ne irbeka solid now B is not equal to C. Same thing. One of the A is not equal to B. 
B is not equal to C. Once again, same trend we are going to follow. A is equal to B, B is equal to C. Same thing. Next one, A is equal to B, but B is not equal to C. Next, last one, all are not equal. A is not equal to B, B is not equal to C. This says regarding edge length. Next, what happened? Angle. What is this angle? See, from here to here, angle, from here to here, beta, from here to here, curve. Three angles. How many angles are there? Three angles. Three coordinate axes, three angles. Alpha, beta, gum. Alpha is equal to, beta is equal to, gamma is equal to 90 degree. You know, Q means all the angles which should be equal to 90 degree. Next, same trend we will follow for next to two. Alpha is equal to, beta is equal to, gamma is equal to 90 degree. Alpha is equal to, beta is equal to, gamma is equal to 90 degree. Next one, alpha is equal to, gamma is equal to 90 degree. Means, this alpha and gamma both will be equal to 90 degree. But beta is not equal to 90 degree. It is not equal to 90 degree means, it may be 100, it may be 200. It's depend on the particular crystal but it's not equal to 90 now next one alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 gamma is equal to 120 alpha beta equal to 90 but the last one gamma is there no it should be exactly equal to 120 but last one is there no all the angles are different. In examination, they will frame a question like this. Means, name the crystal type. In which crystal type, all the edges, all the angles are different. See, A is not equal to B, B is not equal to C. All the edges are different. And here, all the angles are different. Different. It's not equal to 90 degree or so. Alpha different, beta different, gamma different. And next one, very very important. See? Face center means each face 
at the center it can be one atom is it clear for example one box is there means one box for example i will uh, take this duster as an example see see try to understand you should assume it's not exactly cubic idu cubic alla but ni one cubic it's not cubic but you should assume as cubic see how many corners are there one one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight eight corners ella crystal system allu eight corners are eight atom irudu that is compass bcc means this is this is one crystal system within inside middle center of the body this is one body anta consider madare center alli one atom itre that is bcc now fcc face center this is one face 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 number 1 ಇದು ಒಂದು ಫೇಸ್ ಆದರೆ ಇದು ಒಂದು ಫೇಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಫೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ನೌ ಫೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅದರ ಅಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಈಚ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ ಒನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ each face is center okay, it contain one atom so six atoms is it clear now yes now for this first i will explain the code word 32 42 11 what is this 32 means 3 it primitive fcc bcc this one primitive fcc next to four primitive fcc bcc edge center one more new word what is this edge center edge center means see try to understand properly these two faces na these two faces any two opposite faces contain atoms here one atom here one atom that is edge center you don't like this these two faces you can consider these two faces e face e face consider opposite face it becomes if these two faces contain atom this that is edge center you don't like this two face take this two face any two faces but it should be opposite that is edge center is it clear next edge center last one 111 one means only primitive 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 so code word 32 42 site super you know super 111 super try to understand three means primitive fcc bcc next two, two means primitive fcc next primitive fcc bcc h center next primitive h center the meaning primitive 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 got it this is regarding crystal system and just to count how many bremis lines are there what is it they will ask in one more question total 14 seven crystal system 14 bremis lines see just count this 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 2, 11. 11 plus 3, 14 breaths, breaths that is. So, it's clear now. 7 crystal system, 14 breaths that is. Very, very important. For serious sake also, for applied level question, they will ask applied level questions. Best on this. just now we discuss regarding the types of crystal lattice crystal lattice seven but types of 
solids. There are four types of solids. Are there are four types. First one, ionic crystal. Second one, covalent crystal. Third one, molecular crystal. And last one, metallic crystal. To gather the whole solid, we are going to classify four types. First one, ionic, covalent, molecular and fourth one, metallic. What is this ionic? First one, definition, I am going to explain. Definition, ionic crystal, the name itself indicate. Between the atoms, the main, the bond itself is ionic bond. Means here, two atoms are there means positive, negative. Between these two, the atom present now, that is ionic. Ionic bond. Means the atoms are held together by ionic bond. The atoms are held together by ionic bond. Is it clear? The atoms are held together by ionic bond. Such type of crystal we call it as ionic crystals. And you know, ionic bond means, bond is ionic bond, no doubt. If it dissolved inside the water, what happened? It will split as positive and negative. So, what about the electrical conductivity? If it is inside the water, it will conduct electricity. But, it's not inside the water. Means, it's Remains as it is. When we dissolve, it will conduct electricity. Molten state. Molten state. Dissolve, it never ever conduct the electricity. If we dissolve inside the water, it will conduct electricity. Dissolve, it never ever conduct the electricity. And what about the melting point? See, it's charges. When it's positive, negative, oppositely charges. That's why it's highly difficult to break. That's why high melting point. What about the hardness? It's too hard and brittle. Brittle and red, for example, you do not know it trevor, for example, mirror. If you leave as it is, what happened? It becomes piece piece. So brittle nature. For this also same thing, NSEN also. Take one hammer, just crush it. Brittle nature. It becomes powder, piece, piece. So, brittle nature is. Next comes to covalent crystal. Same thing as we discussed for ionic now. Same thing for covalent. Between the molecules. The bond is covalent bond. Here there is no charge, positive, negative. Why? Because, for example, H2, covalent bond is there between these. H, H. Same thing here also. Between the solid, between the atoms, the bond is covalent bond. And what about the electrical conductivity? There is no electrical conductivity. Any charges are there, positive, negative? No charges. Then, it is possible to explain the electrical conductivity? No. Next, what about, see, they are tightly holding each other, covalent bond, you know, compared to ionic bond, covalent bond, very strong. So, very high, V high means, V good means what? Very, very good. This one is high, this one is very high. And what about the hardness, very hard, compared to this, this one is very hard. Covalent crystals. Then third one, molecular crystal. Molecular crystal, two types of forces. First one, hydrogen bonding. When we will observe this hydrogen bonding, you know what are H2O? Hydrogen bonding is there. And non-polar dispersion force. Non-polar Dispersion force. Two types of charges. Non-polar dispersion. Non-polar means what? Non-polar, no charge. Dispersion means spreading. So, two types. One is hydrogen bond 
and second one non polar dispersion force and there are also insulator why ice cube it's a very good conductor no it never ever conduct electricity that's why i say insulator very low melting point very low for example take one ice cube take one ice cube just it will melt easily why the bond it's not that much strong that's why very it's soft it's not too hard it's soft what about the metallic for example iron iron between the metal metallic bond is there if metallic bond is there such type of crystal we call it as metallic any crystal system the bond it should be metallic such type of crystal we call it as metallic crystal and here you know electrical conductivity metal electrical property we already discussed metals are very good conductors that's why they are very good conductor what about the melting point moderately high moderately high means it's not too too less it's not too high moderately high. and what about the hardness some are too soft metal some are too hard metal for example you know sodium sodium is very soft metal we can cut by using normal knife but what about the iron it is possible to cut no it's not possible so some metals are soft and some metals are hard it based on the metal nature These are all the four types of crystals. In all, it's four types. So, ionic, covalent, molecular, metallic. Ionic means between any two atoms or any two charges, ionic bond. Molecular, sorry, covalent, covalent bond is there. Molecular crystal, two types. One is hydrogen, and second one, non-polar dispersion force. Metallic, metallic bond. What about the electrical conductivity? In molten state, it will conduct. In solid state, it never conduct electricity. This one also it may it act as an insulator. This one also act as an insulator. But metallic, they are very good conductors. And melting point high, very high, very low, moderately high. This one is hard and brittle, very hard, soft. Metals are some are hard, some are soft.